Hello everyone. Welcome to High Fashion Sewing Machine and Quilt Shop's So Savvy Reveal for the fourth quarter 2021. This evening or whenever you're watching this, we're going to be showing you all the new items and the fourth quarter class schedule. And right now I'm going to show you some of my new items that uh, I'd like to promote right now. One of the quick easiest ones is what I call the Vera tool. This is actually just a, a vinyl scraper or a pot scraper but it works wonderful when you're needing to take your needle plate off or scratch off uh, price tags, things like that. So I'm gonna show you how this works on a Bernina needle plate. So you just hold it in your hand, easiest way, put your thumb near a corner and push down on the uh, concentric circles, the target area, and then it pops up and then bring it over to the left side and just give it a little twist and you got your needle plate off, ready to clean and oil your machine. So I have these at the store, and I had them personalized with uh, Bernina Jeff on there. So you may have a pot scraper, but you don't have one like this. So definitely need one in every uh, sewing kit you have, and I even keep one in my garage. And amazing how many places I need to scrape something. Next, I want to show you. I'm doing a um, donation, a drive for the uh, community church in Shinley, Arizona. This is a uh, church that some of our customers are involved in and they go down to Shinley, Arizona four to five times a year and teach them how to sew. And this is a Native American reservation. So we got a donation of this wonderful Bernina 830 record and I'm gonna silent auction it off. You can come in the store or call and put in your bid and the winning bid will just make a check out to the uh, community church down there and then you get this wonderful Bernina 830 that I have donated my time and parts to get it uh, up to uh, near new condition. So it's a wonderful 830 if you've been looking for one. This is a great way to make a donation and have a machine. So it's a win-win. Next, I want to promote my, I love my featherweight uh, event sort of class sort of something we're going to have in December. So I'm going to show tricks and tips on your featherweights, some uh, accessories you may you got to have, and also how to maintain it, how to take parts off and how to oil it and what it's supposed to sound like. So that's going to be uh, in December, so look at your schedule for that. Next, I have the Bernina 770QE upgrade. This is a purchase upgrade. It includes a 72 S foot and some couching discs and the code to increase the functionality of your 770s. I know there's a lot of owners out there that will love the functionality. The best functionality I think this comes with is foot recognition. So when you put a foot on after you've done this uh, upgrade, you select the foot number and it will recognize it and protect your machine from ever hitting that foot. So it's, I believe it's a great investment. Plus it's always, you know, always good to have the latest greatest on your machine. Next, BabyLock has brought a new model in. So I have three of the Aventura 2s left. So this is a $6,000 machine that I'm selling for $2,500, $2,499. I only have three of these left, so they're gonna go fast. So come in, you uh, can check it out. I have one on the sales floor. This is an embroidery and sewing combination machine, full featured. Uh, I sold a lot of these at the regular price. So this is a really good deal. Now I'm gonna pass it on to our MC of classes, Angie. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to So Savvy. So we're going to go jump into classes for fourth quarter. Our first one is Summer Moon, and Lynn is teaching this class. We have three dates scheduled for October, November, and December. And this is an ongoing club that she's been doing. And I'm going to let Lynn tell you about her little blocks. This has been a really fun class and people are joining, um, coming in at any time. And yesterday, actually we had one book left and a customer saw it and she bought the book. 
so I don't have the book out here, but it's Summer Moon. Um, it's by Carrie Nelson, the quilt, and the blocks are done in three different sizes. Five inch, six and a half, and eight. And to, when you put it together, the smaller blocks, you're going to add little embellishments. You're going to do like little flying geese or little um, um, nine patches or whatever and build those smaller blocks up to the um, an eight inch. So all the blocks will finish at eight inch and then you put it together. It's been fun. It's been really a good learning experience. Um, you need to have a little bit of experience sewing, but Getting your seams correct is the best, and that's what makes it the easiest. But, you know, if you want to join us, it's been a fun class. So I also told my grandkids in Texas that I would give them a shout-out. Hey, Emily, Ryan, and Jack, it's Nana. Hi. So. Hi, Emily, Ryan, and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next on our list is the Serger Project called Anytime Runner. Trist is teaching this class. It's in. Uh, it's on a Saturday, October second. And it, it features a new stitch. So this is a waved flat lock stitch. Pretty cool. It's not on your threading chart, so it's brand new. That's awesome. Isn't that pretty? I love the way that looks. Love that Beautiful. All right. Um, on starting on Monday, October 4th, and this goes for three different sessions. So we have Monday, October 4th, um, Tuesday, October 12th, and then the last session is on Friday, October 29th. And Lynn will be teaching beginning piecing. I really have enjoyed teaching this class because I love um, seeing people who are, have an interest, just a starting interest in quilting, and getting them going on um, on the right 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 way um, with their piecing. There's this is a technique class. You're not going to walk out of here with a quilt, but you are going to learn how to make your how to cut, how to make your seams correct, and how to press and then put it all together. Um, you know the basics for um, being happy with your quilts when you get through. So. That's my goal, and if you want to learn how to sew, how to um, quilt piece, come join me. All right, next on our list is Candy Corn Shop. That's Tuesday, October 5th. It's a Kimberbell project. I think the full name of it is Candy Corn Quilt Shop. And uh, Julie's going to be walking you through uh, these classes. Or these, and your this nails project. Are so cute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard. Trista said my nails are cute, so mm -hmm. they kind of, you know, match the season. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up is um, st uh, Lorraine's sweatshirt jacket. That is on Wednesday, October thirteenth. So it's not a Friday the thirteenth, but it's the thirteenth. Thirteenth. That's all right. Good. Oh, you're going to hold it? That'll yeah, work too. If you, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so sweatshirt jacket, we take a regular sweatshirt and we cut it apart and we put fabric on it and we sew it back together. Fun. Any kind of fabrics you want to use if you have certain blocks. Um, the back side has a big chunk if you got a panel block you want to put on. So just a lot of fun and we're going to deconstruct and then reconstruct a sweatshirt. And what a beautiful button you have on there. Thank you. All right, on Thursday, October 14th, we have Album Quilt Embroidery, and this is also continuation, so it is in October and again in December. We had a lot going on in November, so we skipped a month. <laughs> Julie's doing this one, Machine Embroidery in the Hoop. Sorry. So this is a workshop, and it's designed primarily for beginner uh, embroiderers, brand new machine owners. It is from the very beginner pattern, even though it looks hard, it is very beginner pattern up through more um, intermediate advanced. You pick the design that you want to work on at your pace. You do not have to attend every month, but I will be continuing through next year. So if there's a project you want to work on, I'm happy to be there and help you go through that. Awesome, beautiful. All right, our next little event is on uh, Friday, October 15th, and that will be a retreat at Chapita 
golf course at the clubhouse. Um, and that'll be 9.30 to 5. In the wintertime and the fall, we have to start a little bit later because they open a little later. So we will start at 9.30. And then on Saturday, we have our yard sale. Woo-woo! We haven't had to, been able to have one last year because of COVID. So this yard sale should be a doozy, right? Because we got two years worth of stuff to show you. Sell you, I mean. <laughs> okay, on Monday, October 18th, Lynn is going to be doing the ombre Christmas quilt. <clears throat> it's the ombre Christmas point Christmas poinsettia. And when I first saw this quilt, I just fell in love with it. It to me it was just stunning. And I got it done and I'm doing it as a class and I hope you'll join me. There's two dates. There's um, October 18th, which is a Monday, and then in that one that class I think is almost full. Um, and then there is another one in November, the 19th of November. So um, if you can't get in the October class, try the, the November one because um, you won't regret making this quilt. It is just so beautiful. So thanks. And I, I have to say, it does not scream Christmas. I think it would be beautiful to have all year long. Um, so um on tuesday november 19th jeff is going to be teaching a class on his stitch regulator table his invention that you have probably seen where uh, the bernina stitch regulator can be um, attached to a sew study table so that you can do ruler work with your bsr best of both worlds yay and then on um friday calendar club with lorraine sorry it is friday not wednesday that's my fault uh, it is on the 22nd. It's called Which Direction? It's called Which Direction. Um, the pattern said use 10 inch squares and I said nope let's do jelly rolls. So quick and easy and it's just really fun and nice way to use up your jelly roll or partial jelly roll or whatever you have. So and that really is all it is. There's no borders on it. You could easily put borders if you wanted to. In case you have a little bit bigger table. Yeah. This would look really pretty on a sideboard. All right, uh, on, we're moving into the end of October, the 25th and 26th, which is Monday and Tuesday, I am going to be doing Quilting with Your Walking Foot, which has been, uh, I've, I've had it before, it fills up usually every time. And these are the samples that we'll be making in class. So the idea is you make all these samples and then you have options when you go to quilt your project. You don't have to just have um, free motion or nothing or in the ditch you can do all these designs with your walking foot and you will do all of these designs in the two days that we have class really you will and it's a great class I've heard got lots of good feedback on it right on Thursday October 28th Julie has embroidery workshop this is on um, October, November, and December. <laughs> and so for the embroidery workshop, if you aren't familiar with it, it is for new embroiderers, new machine owners. I help you learn how to navigate your machine and do different uh, functions on it. This workshop is $30 for the three months combined. And I give you the design, I give you the kits, the stabilizers, the thread cabinet to use. So come in, um, it's a good bargain for you to learn the machines. Did you say I get a thread cabinet for $30? Well, to use. Uh, <laughs> use. Oh, to use. We get to borrow the thread <laughs> from there. <laughs> and it is $30 for all three classes, not each class. That's a great deal. All right. So um, moving on to the end of October, our last beginning piecing class is the 29th. On the 30th is sort of an open sew-ish class that I do called Embroidery Your Way. So that is also for machine embroidery and you can bring any machine embroidery you want to work on that day. And that's on an all day Saturday. And then on moving into November now, Wednesday, November 3rd, I'm teaching this class called, it's called Dragonfly Dance. The pattern is called Dance of the Dragonflies, which I thought was just a little bit too many syllables. And these are the fabrics that I'm gonna be using. So this will be the background. These are a few of the fabrics that we'll be making up 
the dragonflies, um, and then it's got little accent pieces and pinwheels and this border. Now this looks like curved piecing, but it's not. And in a little bit, I'll show you what makes it so special. This is the same designer that did, we did a Victorian runner from. Okay. What? And, oh yes, yeah, sorry. Ha, thank you. Julie said it's behind you. So this is a Victorian runner. So these look like curved piecing, but they're not. And we do have a couple kits left for this project over here in this colorway. All right, on um, Thursday, November 4th, Trista is teaching a serger project called Clearview Bag. What do you want to say about it? It's fast and easy, also featuring that flat lock wave stitch. That same cool stitch, awesome. And look at what a great project bag. You can actually see what's in your bag. Okay, um, Annika's pillow, Annika's chenille pillow, is on Monday, November 8th. Julie's going to tell you a little bit about it. So this is <laughs> a chenille technique. It is all in your embroidery hoop. Here's a couple of samples of the chenille and the designs that are available. We have lots of new woven um, that I'm using in this. It uh, chenilles up really nice. Um, come in and take a look at them. That is awesome. This, I mean, this really almost looks like wool, like a wool uh, pressing mat. It fuzzies up so nicely. Okay, on Tuesday, November 9th, Lynn is going to be teaching hanging Christmas towels using a dish towel and then printing it up. Or just hanging towels. It's like these are Christmas. This is Christmas. Lorraine did this one. Um, but there, this is just kind of a fun class. This one I've made, it's, it's not Christmas, but you can just, whatever you want to do, you can just kind of embellish them the way you want. I did some um, yo-yos on this one. <coughs> this one's got a little applique on it. This one's got applique that was a leftover piece from a um, panel. And this one I also, and I love these things. I have them hanging in my kitchen all the time. They make great gifts for Christmas or for, you know, um, so if you want to come and just play you should be able to get a couple done so they're pretty easy i love those little yo-yos those are adorable aren't those cute yes and they'd make great housewarming gifts yes if you're got invited to thanksgiving or christmas dinner you could take it for a hostess gift yes awesome okay ruler foot 101 will be on saturday november 13th lorraine's going to give you the ins and outs of, sorry, I'm getting tangled up in the cord, of <laughs> how to use your ruler foot and do ruler quilting. So basically we just are using the sampler set, the beginner sampler set, and we're going to do lots of ruler quilting. You won't exactly look like this because we're using individual pieces, but it's just a great way to test out ruler work, see if you like it, and learn the basics. Yay. All right. We have another machine embroidery class coming up. This one's Julie's called Snow Much Fun, and it's blue work. So it is all in the blues. I do have a kit for everybody in class and you can kind of get up close on those designs. They're all uh, little snowmen. This quilt was done by hand by Angie's sister Linda. So it's not the exact quilt. Uh, we have a different batiks that have the little stars. Um, it's going to be super simple. It's all um, in the red work but, but in blue. Is that blue red work? <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Linda, for loaning us your quilt. It's beautiful. She does beautiful handwork. We have another calendar coming, calendar club coming up on, where is my date? Wednesday, November 17th. Back to a Wednesday. She yes. wasn't, didn't have to steal my Wednesday. I'm just joking. I did um, steal her Wednesday. So this is Sunday brunch. I have done this one before, but we had quite a wait list, so I thought I'd do it again. And so this is my sample from when I originally did it. And I was working on this yesterday, didn't quite get it all done. These are the colors I'm going to be doing for this one. It's kind of a little more wintry, more Christmassy colors. So it's a very cool technique. You're doing it on a foundation, on the star parts of foundation, and then you add pieces to it. So come have fun with me. All right, let's see here. That was on Wednesday. 
Um, on Friday, November 19th, we have a, is this a sombrero? This is not a sombrero. It is not. <laughs> it's a beautiful it's a, sun hat. Yeah, a sun hat. <laughs> so it is a Christmas tree skirt. And did I mess my hair up real bad? No, it's good. Um, <clears throat> it's done with a jelly roll and um, the, the uh, katahdin, the, the two and a half inch, um, it's like you're doing a, a circle rug. And it is super easy. Um, this, 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 even this part right here where you mold it up is not too bad. So it's not too hard. We do have some, um, jelly rolls that I made up that are exactly like this. If you are interested in that, um, and then the pattern, but if you want to do this tr tree skirt, come, if you just want to do another jelly roll pattern or jelly roll rug or something and would like to come to this class and I have room that's fine so but it's like the jelly roll seems to be, I'm the ombre girl and the jelly roll girl I guess I don't know so um, I do you serve have, jelly rolls do I serve jelly rolls hmm I don't think so yeah. bummer <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see here so that is the Monday before Thanksgiving so right after Thanksgiving Lorraine and I do a little Thanksgiving escape uh, special classes um, wait, what did I miss? Free motion quilting. I jumped ahead. Free motion quilting is on Tuesday, November 23rd. So Trista's teaching this class. So free motion quilting is not always for quilts. Sometimes it's a bag. Um, you can do couching. We're going to do the basics, learning curves, points, um, and get into more fun designs beautiful anybody can learn this takes a little practice a little patience but you can do it all right now on to our thanksgiving escape on friday is little christmas tree and it might fall apart if you pick it up okay I won't so <laughs> so this is the folded fabric technique that i was talking about for um the dragonfly quilt and the uh, victorian table runner but these are folded pieces of fabric in here and you fold them in and stitch them down. All right, you ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! That's uh, what it looks like when you stitch those curves down. Now it can ooh. be picked up. <laughs> ooh, ah! Isn't that a big difference between the before and the after? That's what I thought. Very cool. That's way fun. All right, and then on Saturday, Lorraine's doing her class. It's a little bench pillow not little it's a it's big a, bench it's pillow a big, it's a big bench pillow and it's out of this book um, bench pillows for all seasons there are 12 bench pillows you can choose from a lot of good fun on those so you can make whatever kind you want or again it's an open sew if you just want to come and open sew that's fine too but uh the book's a steal it's 10 bucks you can't go wrong come have fun all kinds of fun pillows in there there are so on the let's see here what day is my next oh so on Monday and Tuesday, November 29th and 30th, we have a two-day retreat. So Lorraine and I will be taking uh, care of you over at the, the Chapita Clubhouse again. Not just one day of fun, but two. Can you handle it? And then on, let's see here, um, December 1st and 2nd is Jeff's featherweight classes. He's got one on each day. On Tuesday, December 7th, I'm doing the BSR panel practice so BSR is the Bernina stitch regulator and we're going to be using this panel this time and the idea is just to get you used to using your stitch regulator you'll be doing some little free motion quilting around the little flowers whatever design you like it's a smaller panel so it's easy to handle and then in the afternoon I'm going to be teaching stitch book this is open to any sewing machine and you can make either this style of stitch book and it's just where you stitch a little sample out of each of your decorative stitches and what number they are so that you have something to reference when you're looking for a decorative stitch or you can make this style that's more like business cards and then you can put them in a three ring binder you can do either one in class and then we have Candace coming to visit when does she come visit us on Wednesday December 8th this is Candace uh, you have to use your imagination with this one a bit. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. Like that. So this is the front of the bag, and so it has this nice big slip pocket in the front that's here. 
and the rest of it you just kind of have to imagine imagine what it looks like <laughs> it does have le several pockets on the inside as well Cute fabric. thanks i got this wonderful fabric at high fashion <laughs> all right on um wednesday what my, is my wednesday december, december 15th. 15th oh it says so right here it says so right there december 15th calendar so, club calendar club i'll be doing set for the season um my plan sorry it has a price code on it we'll be doing this one um here in the blues and whites if you like that or there are four different seasons you can choose from for applique i do not have my sample done as you can see um apparently the patterns were missing a couple pages and i've been playing phone tag for quite a while trying to get the rest of the pages so i can make the sample but it will be done by no december so that come have fun on the calendar club are you doing both the placemats and the table runner? Just the table runner. Just I suppose if runner. you can whip it through, you can do the placemats also. Or on your own. Uh, yep. Okay. We have another edge-to-edge -edge quilting coming up on Tuesday, December 21st. This is in the hoop quilting. This is in the hoop. Um, so we're going to be doing a small, I guess, table topper or like crib quilt. You get a choice in the designs and it's a really good method that uh, is continuous quilting everything hooks together so it looks like um, you've done this absolutely phenomenal free motion quilting um, very very cute designs so if you've been interested in doing free motion quilting or in the hoop uh, this would be the method you want to jump in and, and learn it's very simple are you sure it's simple it looks really hard and it looks fabulous it's very simple <laughs> <laughs> good to hear we need simple all right thursday december 23rd this is trista's serger bag did you put a cat in my bag it's, yeah don't <laughs> let the cat out of the bag that's so funny <laughs> so this bag is a lot of technique but it's a lot of learning it's a lot of fun just peek at the other side here you will learn a lot and then you'll end up with something pretty darn cute. I went with solid colors to help show off my thread, all except my lining fabric. Um, but it was, it was a great way to get to know all those techniques you can do on your serger. That's awesome. I love these little points, little prairie points. And the cat in the bag is pretty cute. Mm -hmm. We do have um, this cat panel available as well and we have this a regular panel we have it in um, an apron and oven mitts panel and then some coordinating placemat panels okay monday and tuesday on december 27 and 28 if you've taken quilting with your walking foot then you can move up to more quilting with your walking foot again a two-day class and this is the sample book so all these samples we will be making in class. A little more complicated, still all with your walking foot. All these various techniques. We move into triangles and borders, as well as block shapes. So we expand your knowledge a little bit more there. And this is the book that we use for class, Creative Straight Line Quilting. And let's see here, moving on to Thursday, uh, December 30th, we have another serger pro project called Blooming Basket. Um, this one uses a flat lock stitch and a rolled edge and goes to together pretty quick and easy. It's cute. That little flower there is adorable. We think you'll make a great hat too. Oh, a hat? Yes. Who's gonna model the hat? No. <laughs> the rain's see? hobbling over here. It's a Adorable hat. Oh, that is a very cute hat. You're right. <laughs> hat slash. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have the hat day. The sombrero and the serger hat. <laughs> Jeff has something right here. If you've made it all the way through, I have exciting news. We got selected for a Best of the West award for hobby craft store locals from uh, the Daily Sentinel. So I haven't received this award for over 20 years. So I'm really proud of uh, getting selected as the best of the West. And while this was going on, I was doing emails and one of my subscribers on YouTube showed me a new trick for the Vera tool. Come on over here. So keep one of these by your sewing machine and it, uh, 
will act as a finger press too. So we're just going to show you how easy this works. So if you need to press a little quick seam, just run that across your fabric and look at that nice little quick press that this guy did. That's great. Is that a quick, easy tool? It sure saves you waiting to get that iron nice and hot to do one little quick awesome. seam. So as you find new little uses for this tool, email me at jpvlefty at aol.com and I'll pass it on to all our viewers. Anybody else need to add anything? Well, we've got some stuff still to go All over. right, here's Angie. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're ready to go over all the new product now. So we're just going to jump right in, start right here. We have this cut loose American Americana casserole hot pad. So it's kind of like those uh, microwave bowls, but bigger so that your casserole bowl will fit in there. And the pre-cut, ah, don't look at that. The pre-cut um, insulated batting for it. All ready to go. Awesome. We have, I'm gonna come back to that one. Our yard sale. Yay! Our yard sale sign. Okay, don't miss that. What are these little goodies here? Ruler stickers. So, um, can you see them on? Here we go. We're stuck. We got stuck on the... Here's some of the oh, ruler stickers. Great. So you can put them on um, your ruler so you can see easily where you need to cut. Are they vinyl? Mm -hmm. Yes. So and they're very reasonable. Them? Mm -hmm. Super cool. Yeah. See there? And then you ah. can stick it wherever you need to. How nice. Awesome. Speaking of vinyl, this is some vinyl um, from OESD. Sorry, I have the mic in one hand. Um, it's a nice thick vinyl, very sparkly. You can use that for in the hoop embroidery projects and a good selection of colors. It's washable. And it's washable, yay. This is the, we saw it with the arrows, the new uh, Stripology squared ruler. So the Stripology rulers have little slits in them here so you can fit your rotary cutter in there to cut sort of through your ruler. Here are all the colors we have of the glitter. Lux, sparkle vinyl it's called. A new little pattern. We have a selection. This is a mini selection of our By Annie patterns. We have several others, but that's a good starter. And uh, I gotta wear the mic for this one because I need two hands for my next demo. All right, this is the By Annie Premium Vinyl she just came out with. It comes on a roll so you don't have to worry about it getting folded. What's nice about it, the big seller, at least for me, is that it comes with a paper backing. So when you cut it, you can actually see what you're cutting. You're not trying to cut through just clear stuff that you can't see. And then this paper backing, it's not like tissue paper, so it's not gonna work itself loose. But it separates from the vinyl easily. It's not sticky. It's kind of like a vinyl cling sheet that sticks to the vinyl. And you can keep your vinyl rolled up so it doesn't get any wrinkles in it. Is that not awesome? That's worth its weight. Very cool. We have a couple, uh, a pair of patterns here, the professional tote and the mini professional tote. These are uh, very popular bags. They're awesome bags. I love my professional tote for um, traveling and uh, running through the airport. Don't be talking about running through the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine uh, had a little incident running through the airport. This is our new, it's called a deemed, no, it's not called deemed. It's called domed needle, uh, threaded needle case. The idea is that you can thread your needles with different colors of thread and then store them in here already threaded and ready to go. Oh. So you don't have to keep re-threading. This is great for people that do um, needle turn applique, cross stitch, embroidery, anything where you're using several different threads in your handwork. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a design on the Solaris and some pillow, what's this called? Pillow ticking? It's toweling. Toweling. Pillow, no, toweling, but we made a pillow out of the toweling. We have lots of we have colors. It, and it's on the roll, so the edges here are finished. And you can make your toweling as long or as short as you want. A lot of fun colors, a lot of 
Oh, can you so imagine nice. this with Christmas? That would be it? really pretty with Christmas designs. And I believe there's a couple, there's a couple yeah. patterns on the other side we'll come back okay, around to. I was going to say, do you want to do that now? Or do you want to there's some flannel, new flannel here. Some new wovens. A new ombre, new batiks. Aren't those beautiful? Kitties, dinosaurs. All kinds of fun fabric. And then we're going to have to tr um, go around the room on the outside of the room, too. It's just so pretty. All right, that way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're Yay! All right, here's one of the patterns that uses that toweling. So you can either do, um, in this case, applique, but you can imagine what it would look like machine embroidered also. You can make it then as long as you want because the toweling's by the yard. And then we have a rag quilt pattern here. It's a little bit different. So I made mm -hmm. a little sample right here. This is one block of what that whole quilt would then would be made out of. Okay, I'm not so sure how well you can hear Lorraine. She said she made sorry. one cl one block out of the quilt. It's like a rail fence style, so a big rectangle that are sewn together. And the back side's different. So you have three colors on the front and oh, cool. three different colors on the back. Nice Isn't big that pretty? blocks that goes together very quickly. Very goes together very quickly, she said. We like that. All right. We have some new fabric around the outside of the store. Okay. Not the outside of the store, the outside of the classroom. That's going to go on the blooper reel. <laughs> and um, I'm going to hold the mic so we have a little more cord length. So we have a new Christmas panel here. Do you want me to hold fabric or do you want me to hold the mic? Uh, fabric, I think, because okay. you're taller. All right. And then we have these flannels that coordinate. Oh, the panels right The here. panels here. It's a really nice soft flannel, too. More coordinates up here with um, snowflakes in the red and black. We do have a rag quilt kitted up. This is the rag quilt that we've done a lot. It's all kitted up and ready to go. That would be beautiful. We have some new flannels up here. These are um, primitive, primitive yeah. gatherings called Yuletide gatherings. So this is yardage. Beautiful. And then we also have a special program for you using the Yuletide Gatherings flannels layer cake and then yardage that will be this that coordinates and a video tutorial featuring Lisa Bonagin from Primitive Gatherings. So, so she takes you through um, doing big stitch stuff, assembling the quilts, I forget exactly how many videos there are in the series, but we will be kitting this up as project classes, not classes, project kits. So you will get the layer cake, this card that gives you access to the video set, and uh, two, two, yards. two yards, I think two it's yards. two yards of background so that you can make that quilt. So if you're interested in that, let us know. Give us a call and let us know so we can get you on the list for that. All right, but do we have that one up? That one is this panel. This is out of this line. Look how cute those are. Okay, moving this way. We do have, since we're on the way, we have some of these ombre ripple kits available. And it's hanging on the wall up there. We have some Patricia quilt kits available, two. We only have two of these left. And its sample is here. Beautiful soft colors, very romantic. And features a border print on the outside border. It's a big one, sorry, and I didn't fold it very well. That's all right, I usually just throw them. I don't even attempt to fold them. And then we have this pro fabric line that Lorraine used for her, what's this called? Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch calendar club class. Very pretty fabrics. Look at how pretty these stripes are. Gorgeous, rich colors. And then we have uh, kits for this guy available. This center is a panel called Snow What Fun. These are just pieced. They're easily pieced. And then a border print on the outside. 
makes a twin quilt. So we have some of those available. And now we're going to finish up with our um, block of the month stuff. So we have one spot left in Little Firecracker. And I have some blocks here. Lorraine's going to help me hold some. They're all the same, but it's paper pieced. That's the center of your quilt here. And then you have uh, paper pieced borders as well. And it's, I want to say, a six month block of the month. But like I said, we only have one spot open in that. So if you like it, sign up right away. Oh, is that the phone ringing? <laughs> <laughs> this is our next block of the month coming up. I don't know, can you hold this one? Yep. I was going to run and grab the poster, but then I was like, oh. Cool. And this one's called Reflections. Oh, Julie's on the other side. There you go. This one is scheduled to start in October. However, we do have the fabric, but I haven't got the kits cut yet. So I still hope to get it um, cut and ready for you to start in October. Reflections by Wilmington. Sampler blocks, Dresden plate. All sorts of variety of things. Yes, and, and nice uh, brighter colors. And we've a uh, variety of colors and uh, brighter colors. Very Thank you. And then our last one, and I'll show this on the table here. So this is just a little sneak peek of One Crazy Sister for next year. So the way she has it set up is that each month you'll do these little blocks. You can finish them into individual blocks if you like to, but at the end you can put them together into one big, very cute quilt. And that is the finished quilt if you put all the blocks together. So that one's next year. That's still like six months away, but I thought you would like a little sneak peek. Mm -hmm. So you pointed out we had two left. Oh, yes. So this was a class that I did, and we have two patterns left. You can pick your own colors, or you can pick some uh, yeah. out of the very similar line of there. It's a paper pieced Judy Niemeyer pattern. If you're interested in doing Judy, Me Judy Niemeyer, this is a good starter Judy Niemeyer, but you do want to make sure you have some paper piecing experience before you jump in. Um, what else? Anything else? So I'm looking at the girls. I think we're done. I think that's it. Thank you, everybody. Should we double check with Jeff? Is Jeff close? We're going to see if Jeff has any final closing remarks for you. Okay. He's gone on a little walkabout, so we're just going to call it a day. Yep. yep. Thank you all so much. Stay safe and we hope to see you soon. Bye.